Hi there, こんばんね、everyone. Good evening to you guys. I think there's not a lot of people in chat tonight. I see Christer. I see Christer in chat. こんばんね、Christer. Hi there. Hey, hi, Queen. I can't, I can't be on stream tonight. I'm in the cinema with sister for now. When movie will be over, I'll try to come onto the stream. Have a good stream. Thank you, Fisher. Thank you. Hi there. Oh, Kaizo. Hi. I was, I was, um, I was away、um, for a while, and then when I came back, I was like, hmm, there seems to be not a lot of people online tonight. So I was waiting for a little bit for some of you guys to show up. And thank you so much for joining me. I see Akira as well. Kombane, Akira, welcome. So tonight I'll be doing a little、um, Would You Rather stream. It's not g o n n a take, um, I don't think it's g o n n a be a four hour stream tonight. I'm only. Thinking of streaming maybe two hours, three hours tops.、Um, I have work tomorrow, so I will need to、um, sleep relatively early. I haven't been getting really good quality rest.、Um, in fact, I think yesterday was really hard for me because I was at work since 6 a.m. and I, it was a really bad choice to not sleep the night before. I slept too much the night before. And so、um, I'd usually just, you know, finish work at 1 p.m. That's, that's usually when my work would finish. I'd finish at work at, I'd finish work at 1 p.m. and then I'd head home and sleep. But、um, it was a really busy day yesterday and. I wasn't expecting that much work. So,、um, I ended up staying at work for 10 hours. Yeah. So,、mm, 10 hours without sleep, and I didn't even get、um, so much of a lunch break because we were just so busy.、Um, And that's why I was so tired. I went back home.、Um, I got home at 6 p.m. in the evening. I crashed, slept all the way until about 10 a.m. this morning. So that was like what? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's about like 13 hours of sleep. I just slept all the way. So. Um, tomorrow I'm working again. Fortunately, it's the afternoon shift, so it's not. I, I don't have to like, wake up too early. Oh no, Queen, was the paycheck worth it though? Also, Kombane, Uho. I'm working part time, so the pay isn't exactly like, great, but、um, it's enough to allow me to spend on some of my.、Um, Some of my VTubing stuff, like games and such.、Um, you know, when you guys tell me that you want to see me play a certain type of games,、um, if、um, I, I pay for the games out of my pocket. So,、um, yeah. So, you know, working part time、um, is kind of a necess- necessity for me now. I'm not earning enough from VTubing yet. To, um, to really live comfortably. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, okay, so. Better rest and not stream than stream out of Walking Dead. Walking Dead? You guys, you, you, mean the, you mean the Walking Dead series? The, the, the game? Like, you guys w a n t to see me stream that and make like, bad choices? More bad choices in life? So, could I add some Dulahan Would You Rather question? Of course.、Uh, I did post the.、Um, I posted on YouTube and、um, I also I, I posted on my community page and my Twitter. Um, about gathering questions for tonight's stream.、Um, 
you could add it in on the chat, and I would answer it、um, on the go. That or you could、um, you could send it to my YouTube community post, and then I forgot to make a question. That's okay. You guys can still submit. Um, I I didn't exactly、um, make the post very early yesterday. I just thought about it and was like,、mm, maybe I should do that. I should finally do that. Would you rather stream? So I gathered some questions and、uh, we'll be answering them together tonight. I'm sorry if I sound a bit like unenergetic. It's not that I'm unenergetic. I'm just trying to.、Um, my throat's not been feeling very. Gr- Very great. So I've been trying to like not go so high pitch. Like it's a comfortable range where I let my voice relax and、uh, I don't speak too loud for tonight. I realize that I've been speaking very loudly、um, during my streams. So tonight I was thinking, since it's a bar talk, I would. You know, speak with a more relaxed voice. Also, come on, that Christer. You know, the angle felt like you're putting your boobas on table. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Like, I wish I have boobas big enough to rest on table, but I don't think I can. Probably your work and lots of singing practice. We can do low and slow. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. The situation that I'm in, I am eternally grateful that you guys are always so understanding about my situation. Also, Kombanap Steamer gonna stay on the background. Sure, no problem. Just you know, tonight's for relaxing.、Um, just make yourself feel at home, and even if you're just lurking, that's okay. It doesn't. It's it's all right. Basically, you're using your elegant Nephis voice today. Yes. If if me speaking with low energy is elegant, I should I should do that more often. It's easier than I thought. But it's it tends to be lower. Like when I sound more relaxed, it's like lower. Yeah. So, anyways, I've amassed some questions that you guys have been meaning to ask me for a would you rather、um, section. On stream,、um, if you guys still have any questions,、uh, you can post it in the chat right now, and、um, I will answer to them on the spot. I would just make up some "Would you rather" questions along the way so that you guys can answer to. So、um, I don't have a lot of questions. I think I've only gathered about. Let me see. I've only got about eight questions. Are you doing? Are we doing the game? Yes, we're doing the game. So it's just a very simple section tonight. Is really just all about relaxing and talking. Um. So this is what I did. Okay. So I've screenshot everyone's questions to the best of my ability, and I have um gathered them, and I'll be showing them on the stream. So this is from Shin Takemiya Shin. So Takemiya Shin asked me, "Would you rather live inside the world of Dead Space or Dead by Daylight?" Now, for those of you guys who haven't played this these games,、um, they're both horror games. So Dead Space is basically you in space with zombie-like monsters.、Um, How would I describe those monsters, though? They're called necromorphs. Necromorphs. So they're basically like undead monsters,、um, and you know you're in space,、um, fighting undead monsters with weapons, pretty cool weapons.、Um, so Dead by Daylight is a game where、um, you. And three others have been teleported into a world by some entity 
and you're trapped in that world with a killer who's out for blood, and you have to escape and hide from the killer, um, and Dead by Daylight. So that's um, that's what Dead by Daylight is. So if you guys don't know the game, do check them out on Steam. Um, so she asked me if I'd rather live inside the world of Dead Space or Dead by Daylight. So I feel like. Um, okay. If I were to think logically, I would say I'd rather live in the Dead by Daylight world because there is a way to escape and, um, you know, if, if you complete the objectives, which is to fix the generators, you can get out. So there's an escape, there's a way out, but in space, you don't really get all the help you need and you can easily be turned into one of those necromorphs thing. So I think you have a better chance of survival in Dead by Daylight. And I can get hooked twice. I can get hooked twice. In DBD, it is an unending loop, though. Well, he didn't really mention if it be an unending loop or not. So, you know, technically, when you escape, you are out of the situation. So each time, you just have to fix generators and escape. And that's it. Yeah, in Dead by Daylight, you can just run away from the killer. You can even hide. But in space, it's kind of hopeless. The aliens are just there. You, you have a lesser chance of survival, I'll say. So, I I do think that it's logically speaking, I would rather live inside the world of Dead by Daylight. So thank you, Shin, for your question. This really got me thinking. So, what about you guys? Would you rather live in the world of Dead Space or Dead by Daylight? I'll let you guys um answer this you know start a discussion start a discussion why did i say discussion like that start a discussion <laughs> start a discussion everyone yes so would you rather live in the world of dead space or dead by daylight i have 69 questions oh do you have any would you, would you rather kind of questions, Krister? Okay, so Seki, Seki has a question for me as well. Also, Kombanev Seki, welcome. I can't answer that right now. Would you fish? Would you rather fish or get fished? <laughs> I'd rather fish. I, I think if I were a fish, I'd be, I'd, I'd be a pretty stupid fish. Like, I'd be like, oh, food, and I'd get fished. And then even if you guys, like, let me go from the hook, and you cast the hook again, I'd be like, oh, food, and then I'd go back to the same hook. I think I'd be pretty stupid as a fish. <laughs> so, no. And then Akira has a question for me. Would you rather have your head on the table or on the couch? Couch. It's got to be couch. Like it's it's really soft and comfy, is isn't that? The whole, like, why would you put your head on a table when you can put it on a soft surface? You could just let your head like experience the softness of it. Would you still love me if I were a fish? <laughs> You'd be a great lobster if you were a sea creature. Yeah, I'd have like a, I'd have like a, um, you know, you know, technically if lobsters, um, didn't get fished up, they could just live forever, no? Like, I think they're a type of crustacean, aren't they? Like, crustaceans typically could live a really long life, and lobsters are pretty much like, Ancient, no? So, if they didn't get fished up, they'd probably be like hundreds 
and hundreds of years old. So yeah, I guess I'd be a lobster if I were a sea creature. Would you rather play one really good game for the rest of your life or hundred really bad games? Oh, this one's easy. I I'd, I'd pay to play a really good game for the rest of my life any day. Like I think, um, okay, I guess take like Witcher Three for example. I've played that game like three. Three times at least. Um, so I don't think I am the kind of person that's really quality over con quantity when it comes to games. Um, I do, I do love a good game with a great story. Um, I think I've replayed um, Dragon's Dogma Two. Even though it just came up like not too long ago, um, I did replay it for like three times already. This is my third. I'm on my third playthrough, guys. And then for Persona Five, I've played it three times as well. Persona Five. Um, I've replayed Persona Five twice. Replayed Persona Five Royal twice. I've replayed Persona Four Golden twice. Um, Persona 3, I think I've played it 3, 4 times too. So, I I don't think I'm a person that, like, would be um, bothered if I were made to play the same game over and over again. I would be okay with it. I'd find new stuff to do over and over and over again. Yeah. So, like, um, also, like, Final, Final Fantasy XIV, I did follow that game for a very long while I kind of stopped for now because the subscriptions were getting a bit too costly for me um, back then I didn't really have a, a side job so um, I I wasn't earning enough to keep up with the subscription but I could go back to I think I could go back to FF14 if I want now so I followed like FF14 for about three years ish as well, so yeah. I'd say I'm a I'm a person that would appreciate a really good game for the rest of my life over like hundred really bad games. Like sure, like I get like I get to play a different game every day, but no. Like if if they're really bad, I don't think I'll enjoy it. Yeah. So okay, before I answer any more of the questions from um the chat, let's go through the next one. So the next one is by Elvis, um, who's supposed to be Silenus' brother, I think. I don't know if they're the same person, but um, yeah, okay. So Elvis asked, the O outfit, would you rather wear the O outfit or before Queen fit? I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Um, I think he meant, like, my first outfit. Um, wait. I think he's talking about my two different outfits, like, the, the one where the boobas are showing. Would I rather wear that outfit or this outfit? I think. I think that's what he meant. I think, personally, I like this outfit a lot more. Like, I, I like the details. Um, and I like the I like the thought process put into it. Like I think it's, you know, sometimes covering up is a lot sexier than showing um, flesh. Yeah. So I do think like a good outfit um, thus does make me very happy. So I, I do like this out outfit, and I would rather um, I would rather wear this outfit over the other one, but. I think the other one is more classic Nephis, so I sometimes do stream using that outfit. Yeah. Um, and then, would you rather have a Hawaii trip or a Brazil trip? Ooh. Would I be selfish if I say I want to visit both countries because I've never been to both countries before and I want to? Me that looks at Fern in So So No Free Ren, exactly. Like, like, you know, Fern isn't showing much, but 
she's sexy, you know, she's sexy. So yeah. Uh, okay, so back to the question, would I rather have a Hawaii trip or a Brazil trip? So I guess I really want to visit Hawaii because um, Ichiban and <laughs> the rest made me really want to go to Hawaii. Um, before that, I, I would confess I've never really thought about going to Hawaii because I'm not big on like visiting beaches. Like, I feel like there's just nothing to do except get myself tan on beaches. So, I... I would say... Um, Brazil feels like a very culturally exciting place for me. I've never experienced Brazil Brazilian culture before. I've never eaten Brazilian food before. I want to go. I really want to go. All I know about Brazil right now is football. And I know that sounds really shallow. That's really shallow. Um, so I want to find out more about Brazil. Okay, and then let's go back to the chat. Would you rather have your body argue and take your head and box? and Or be the next Violet Burgard in the next... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory VTuber roleplay. That is kind of a weird, um, weird question. I, I don't see the relevance in the both of them. Um, but, but I'll try to make sense of it. Okay. Would you rather have your body argue with, argue and take a, take your head in the box, or be the next Violet in the next Charlie and the Chocolate Factory VTuber roleplay? I don't think I could do a very convincing Violet roleplay except for the fact that she eats bubblegum. I can't even manage like a good like bubblegum trick. Like have you guys eaten bubble bubblegum before? Like I I have tried bubblegum and I am not I don't think I'm able to like like do a good bubblegum. I've never made like a bubblegum bigger than like that of the size of uh uh you know i don't think i've even gotten it to the size of a coin yeah i don't think i've managed to do that before like let alone let alone get it to like the size of a, a gachapon ball or like the size of my fist yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to pull um, a Violet role play off very well. So I guess I'd rather have my body argue with, argue, and then take my head in a box. Though that would feel very uncomfortable. Alright, the next would you rather question. Would you rather stay with one person forever? Or meet different person, but you'll never meet them ever again. Oh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. This one's really got me thinking. <sighs> Would you rather stay with one person forever or meet different people? Well, okay. I Oh, man. I'm an I'm an introvert. So, I would say um I would rather meet one person and discover everything about that person. Um and then stay with that person forever. Oh. But what if I end up hating the person? I'd be forced to stay with that person forever too. This is a tough question. But you see, like, meeting different people, you get to learn the experience. And... You, you get to... You get to... Oh. Oh. This is tough. This is tough. Oh man. Like, I feel like meeting different people would make me learn different things. So that would be so cool. Oh man. Oh my god. Christer. This is a- Oh, this is a tough question. Why? <laughs> oh man. Oh, it is a social crisis. Oh my god. What do you guys think? Would you rather stay with one person forever? 
or meet different people. So Kaizo's answer is he's introverted, so he'd choose the former. But if you say if if you if you say that, well, logically speaking, you wouldn't meet me. You wouldn't meet the rest of the boners, right? And you wouldn't discover how big this world is. You wouldn't even make for your trip to Italy in the first place because you wouldn't want to go out there and meet people. So, I honestly think that you have made your choice to meet different people, but but I think not meeting them again is really a sad thing. Man, I don't want to ever say goodbye to people. Like, you know, if I meet someone whom I really like and someone very interesting, I would want to stay in contact with them. I just had the balls to do it. Ooh, I like that. I like that answer. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. I respect that. I respect that. Takes balls to do it. It does. Pain question. It is a pain question. I guess... Uh, I guess I would... I would rather... I would rather stay with one person... Forever... Than to meet different people and then never meet them ever again. I think that's my answer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too afraid of like losing, you know. I think I'm 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 afraid of giving things up, afraid of losing things. So, I think if if I were to make a choice based on that part of me, I think it would be the first choice. I think it would be the former. Yeah. Would you rather have a week of milk bath or 25 hours of mud bath. Milk bath. A week of milk bath. I've never tried milk bath before. I want to. I want to. Um, I think it would make my skin my skin so silky smooth. Like I wanna try that, but I feel like just getting milk and then dumping them into a bathtub and then soaking in it is just so wasteful. You know? I would take like a straw and then just sip the milk in the bathtub while I soak in it. That sounds really unhygienic, but I would do that like at least once in a life. If I ever make enough money, I would make sure to get myself a milk bath. And my dream would be to sip right out of the milk bath that I am soaking in. Yeah. <laughs> Theoretically, as a cashier, you might meet kind of handful of guys only for once in a lifetime. Actually, actually, you guys might be surprised, but where I work, um, at the bakery that I'm working at, I get a lot of return customers because it is situated in um, kind of like a, I would say, like a, a, a neighborhood area. There's a lot of housing around it. So a lot of people who come to the bakery are, um, are longtime customers. So they'll always come back, and I've made friends with a couple of them, and they're very nice people. In fact, during Chinese New Year, you know, we have the tradition where um, um, elderly people or your seniors or people who are married, they would give um, young people, um, single people, um, people who are younger than you in general, they would give them like red packets. So actually, one of the senior customers came to the bakery and gave me a red, uh, a red packet, and I was so sh taken aback. I was so taken aback, and I was so appreciative of that because she remembered us. We were working, we were working on Chinese New Year Eve, and she was like, "Well, I hope you guys end work soon and go back home and spend it with your family soon." And she gave us a um, everybody there who was work who were working that day. She gave us a red packet each, and I was so surprised and really happy. Yeah, that's really nice. So, you know, sometimes people are just nice like that. Yeah. Okay. So let's get this question out of the way and fire up our next question. So, dog. Asked us a question. Thank you for the question, dog. 
Are you more comfortable with your head on or off? <sighs> this is another. This is another really like, oh man, what do I answer? Kind of question. You know, I've never really thought about it until today. Until I saw the question, I was like, oh, would I would I rather have my head on or off? Okay, if you're talking about in real life. I'd rather have have my head on, but I feel like I'm a re I'm a really weird person. See, if I have the ability to take my head off, I would rather keep it off. Like forever, I would want to like show people like, see, this is my talent. I have a talent for keeping my head off. Hee <laughs> hee. So maybe maybe I'd be more comfortable with my head off. But drinking and eating would be a problem, though. So if if this is like a would you rather keep your head on or off? I would rather keep my head off, but I feel like I'd be more comfortable with my head on. If I'm thinking with the um, if I'm thinking about it logically, like. If I eat, I don't really want the food to come out of my esophagus and end up on the floor. And if I drink, I don't really want to be dripping out of my head. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you guys are asking some really tough question, man. <gasps> okay, so Steamer asked another question too. Would you rather do the Hong Lu or do the hot glue? I don't know what hot glue is, but I would do Hong Lu any day. Hong Lu is a character from、um, Limbus Company, and you know me, I love my I love my good-looking boys. <laughs> so I would rather do Hong Lu. No, there's 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 no hesitation there. Would you rather play Get Over It a hundred times or get turned into a lantern? I'd get turned into a lantern. I'd get turned into a lantern. <laughs> I, you know, at least as a lantern, I'm just chilling and I'm being lit. Get it? Cause I'm a lantern and I'm lit. Yeah. Okay. I get it. It's not funny. <laughs> I don't want to like mod for a hundred times and getting over it, like and get over it. I don't want to. I would die. No. Okay. So, thank you, Doc, for the question. Um, and also thank you, Silenus, for the question earlier. Okay. So our next question is from Nahar. I don't think Nahar, um, is here with us tonight. So, Nahar, if you're seeing this, thank you so much for your question. Um, let me shift it. Out a little so、um, you guys can see me. I'll put it on the chairs. There we go. Thank you for the question, Nahar. Okay, so would you rather red eyes or blue eyes? Hmm. Would I rather have red eyes or blue eyes? Um. What do you guys think? What would you guys rather have? Red eyes or blue eyes? I think I would rather have. Blue eyes. A lot of times when I create my characters in character like creation or customization, I find that I always end up drifting to blue eyes. I just think that a striking blue is、um, really beautiful. Bi colored eyes, so you could have the best of both worlds. Like one one of the eyes is red and one of the eyes. Is blue. Yeah, so I would rather go with blue eyes, considering considering the fact that I have created a lot of characters with blue eyes, and also blue eyes, white dragon. So I I like blue eyes. Yeah. That being said, I do think that having black hair and red eyes is a very nice combination. 
there are a lot of characters, um, anime characters or game characters that I like, who have like red eyes and black hair. So yeah. And then Nahar's next question for me is, would you rather eat cheesecake or carrot cake? I think his carrot cake here refers to the um, the Western type of carrot cake. Um, I was thinking like carrot cake as in like the Asian carrot cake. Do you know that us Chinese have a dish, have a dish called carrot cake? And it's not quite a, a cake. Yeah, we call it Chai Tao Gui in um in hokkien and it basically means like um it's more of like vegetable it it means fried carrot cake so what is fried carrot cake though i'm really curious now what is it made of flour let me search it up chai tao gui yeah so that dish is also called like carrot cake. Okay, so it is a common dish or dim sum of the Chaoshan cuisine in Chaoshan, China. So it is also very popular in Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, and Vietnam. So it's it consists of fried stir-fried cubes of radish cake so in some places such as singapore it is confusingly and mistakenly translated as carrot cake so it's kind of like a radish cake instead of a carrot cake so it's like fried radish it's really good though um they they usually there's usually like two ways to this they either fry it with like um, with no sauce, so it's just like, it's just fried radish cake and it's really nice. They usually add like eggs in it, so it's like a fried egg and radish dish. And then they also fry it with like um, a kind of sweet sauce. So we call it like the black carrot cake and then the other one is the white carrot cake where there's no sauce. You guys should try it if you ever find like carrot cake in your country. It's called Cai Tao Gui. It's 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 like an Asian an Asian type of carrot cake, rather than the dessert type of carrot cake. So I think Nahar refers to the dessert type of carrot cake here. And truth be told, I think I'd honestly rather eat cheese cheesecake than carrot cake. I've tried carrot cake before. I don't really like the taste. I think it's. Is it made with actual carrots? I don't really know. I'm hunting any Asian stores I can here to find that cake. It's it's not really... I, I don't think they would make something like that in Italy. I think it's very hard to find. Like, um, even if you can find it, it usually be in a... Like, um, in an uncooked form where you have to bring it back to your own place and you have to cook it yourself. So it's... Um, to find a store or a restaurant that serves a dish so specific as this in like a European country is... I would say it's quite difficult. Yeah. Probably need to find a Singaporean or a Malaysian restaurant. I think even if you find like a Singaporean or a, or a Malaysian restaurant, you would probably get dishes such as laksa or nasi lemak or nasi padang or a mie rebus um, or char kway teow more often than the chai tao kway, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so... I see that you guys have some questions for me. Would you rather be the Dulahan Queen because you're NepMG or would you rather be NepMG because you're the Dulahan Queen? <laughs> this is so tough! This is, this is breaking my brain. I'm trying to make sense of it. Would you rather be the Dulahan Queen because you're, the, you're NepMG 
or would you rather be NepMG because you're the Dua Han Queen? I guess I would rather be NepMG because I'm the Dua Han Queen. Yeah. Because I have to exist first before the NepMG exist. So, Dula Han Queen me have to exist before my name NepMG exists. Yes. So, I would rather that. Yes. Would you rather use your head as a gift to me or use it as a Halloween decoration? And what is your design of the decoration? Would I rather use my head as a gift to you or use it as a Halloween decoration? I think it'd probably be more fun to use it as a Halloween decoration. And I would, I would, I would make myself, I would turn myself into a pumpkin head. So I would like close my eyes and I have the pumpkin like pattern. I would cut, I would paint my face like orange. And then I would rest myself on like, uh, like on top of a wall, like on top of, of a fence. And then when people walk past, I would open my eyes and go, boo. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Hi there, potato. Come on, nap. Hey, yo, what you doing? We're doing a would you rather stream tonight. So I've gathered some questions from some of the boners. Um, they've asked me some, would you rather do this or do that? Or would you rather like this or like that? Um, so I'm, I'm answering some of their questions. So, yeah. Okay, and would you... Random question. CSGO or... Dota 2. So is that a would you rather CSGO or Dota 2? I used to play Dota, so I would rather Dota. Dota 2? I'm not really good with like FPS, so I think I'd do better in um in a mobile game. Yeah. Because I do play mobile games. Um I'm just not like excellent in them. Like I'm not like Esports level, like I, I, I don't think I can take my skills into a competition. Oh, fun fact though, me and Manasan used to be in the same university. We used to study in the same school together. That's how I met him, and we, we were in the same like weep club together. We, we went like okay, we have such a thing called extracurricular activities here, where you take up like, um. It's basically as the name suggests. It's extracurricular activities. So it's like um, activities that you do outside of class class time. So me and Manasan go to the same club. Um, it's basically like an anime club where we kind of discuss like anime stuff. We play games together. Um, we cosplay. Um, so I remember that. Um, one on one of the years we were actually tasked with um we were actually tasked with um organizing a gaming competition uh, and it was a Dota 2 competition um so we we kind of collabed with the IT IT club um and then we we had a Dota 2 competition where we held um, at a at a at an internet cafe. So um, the internet cafe agreed to sponsor us, um, and we just had to do some promotional like stuff for them. Basically, we had to promote them to the students in our university. You went into anime club? Yes, I did. I want to be the next Hokage. Nah, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, so we got sponsored by a local Nat Cafe. And um, they asked us to like, you know, spread their names to the students in our school. And we were given a chance to host a competition. Um, a Dota 2 competition using their computers so we found some teams that were willing to play um in the competition so we basically set up like a whole registration booth and everything and they could come and um you know sign up 
and join the competition. So we actually had quite good response. We had like, um, I think five or six teams. Um, it was it was quite a bit. It was quite a quite a bit of people signed up, and um, but unfortunately we had like an odd number of teams. So I think it, I I can't remember if it was five or seven teams. So we had an odd number of teams. So what we did was basically we kind of had to um um hastily make a team um by ourselves. So we basically we as the organizers we form a team of five ourselves. Yeah, so so um we fought against um a team of Dota 2 players, like one of a, a team that signed up for the competition. Yeah, we were a filler team basically. And it was disastrous, let me tell you. We had zero teamwork and it was hilarious. It was we got our ass beat so fast. Like I think the match was over in like 15 minutes. Or was it 10? <laughs> I can't remember. We got our asses handed to us. Like it was it was really bad. It was so bad. Like it was funny because all of us knew how to play Dota 2 separately, but when we came together as a team, it was just messy. Like we we didn't we couldn't communicate with each other and we just we just had zero communication yeah and it was we got wrecked pretty hard yeah and um basically the team just went on to the finals like without a without a hitch so it was it was quite bad <laughs> and like you know the most awkward moment was when we had to like like go up to them and shake their hands and be like good game and we all knew that it wasn't really a good game because it it, it really sucked like we kind of sucked <laughs> so yeah okay anyways um let's go on to our next question okay so alien asked me um, two questions. His first question had nothing to do with would you rather. So um, he actually submitted another question. I don't know if Alien is here. Um, thank you, Alien, for submitting your question. Thank you so much. So he asked me, would you rather have the ability to answer to transform um, animal species? Transform. I think he meant transform into animal species. Or have the ability to transform into 10 different aliens. I think this might be a subtle um, not to Ben 10. I used to watch Ben 10 as a kid. Um, I think having the ability to transform into aliens would be cool. But I think transforming into different animal species. And without like, without like a cap... See, I could transform into an any animal that I want. So that would be pretty cool, no? But like, if you, were if you were gonna tell me that, hey, I can transform into 10 different aliens from Ben 10, then I think that's pretty awesome. What do you guys think? What would you guys choose? I... I think I would transform into 10 different aliens. Again, I feel like... It's the quant quality over quantity for me. So yeah. Be a druid or Ben 10. <laughs> yeah, basically it's you being either being a druid or being Ben 10. Actually, being a druid could be cool too. I could turn into a tiger. Or I could turn into a cheetah and run really quick. I could turn into a bird and just fly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now I'm hesitating. But I, I think I'd still stick with the ability to transform into 10 different aliens. I think that would be pretty cool. I would have the ability to fight, too. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you for the question, Alien. Thank you so much. Okay, um, let me see. Ooh, uh, not sus question. Give or take head? Take. Take head. Take head, because I am Dulahan Queen, so I take. I taketh. Yes. If you have your head. If your head as a Halloween. What do you mean? If if you have your head as a Halloween decoration, would you rather have a head in a jar or a plate or in a basket or in a French guillotine? That's a, that's a lot of that's that's a lot of choices. I think a French guillotine is cool. I think if 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 it's gonna be a Halloween decoration, I think the cooler the better. So French guillotine. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Kuma has a question earlier. So Queen came out with Neppy name first, then decide to be a Dulahan. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Because I thought of... No, actually, wait, no. No, 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 no. I came up with the Dulahan design first before coming out with the name. Because when I first designed Nephis, I didn't have... um, I didn't want to make her into a queen. Um, for some reason, we went that direction and ended up with her being a queen. So, before that, I wanted to just be a Julahan, a female Julahan. And then when we went in the direction of making her a Julahan queen, I was like, okay, she needs a name um, that is fitting for royalty. So I came up with, like, the name Nephis has been stuck in my head for a very long time. Like, I, I don't know how I came up with it. Like, when, when I first thought about, like, hmm, queen name, the first thing that popped into my mind was Nephis. Yeah. So, um, so then I started to, like, you know, um, research more on um, royalty names, like names that sound royal, names that sound, um, like fitting for king, kings and queens. Um, and then I realized that a lot of them have like a middle name, sort of. Um, so I decided to come up with like a fancy middle name. So I named myself Nephis Mivira Galatia. And you know how like when you're succeeding a throne and stuff, you'd always have like a number... So I'm like number nine in the throne. So that's where the knife comes from. Yeah. So I would say I would say yeah. Yeah. I I decided to um I named myself after I come up with the Dulahan Queen design. Yeah. Would you rather have bad internet connection or bad computer? Poor specs. Oh no! Oh my god! Um, bad internet connection. Like I, I think I can still. I would rather. Um, like you know, some of the good games, um, allow me to play them offline. So like, if 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 I have a game like that, like for example, I'm gonna I'm going back to like Witcher again, or like Mass Effect. You don't need to be online for these kind of games. So, you know, if I don't have a computer that's able to run these games, I would be pretty sad. So, I would I would I would rather have an have a computer with bad internet, no, um bad bad internet connection, yes, rather than a computer with poor specs. Hi there, Lang. Welcome. Hi, Kombane. We're we're playing um we're playing Would You Rather. So I'm answering questions that boners have come up for me. Like, um, for example, would you rather would you rather um have like this or that? Would you rather have like tea or coffee? So if you have any questions, do feel free to ask me. And I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Ten different aliens. If only, 
There's alien X in there. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Hmm. Queen has a calm that runs all the game that she wants, but she's got terrible connection. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what's happening to me right now. So it's it's not a hypothesis. It's actually happening, guys. Yes. Okay. Would you ball with your own head? Or would you use your head? What do you mean? Would you ball with your own head? Or would you use your head? Would I ball with my own head? Would I ball with my own head? So would I treat my own head like a ball? Or would I use my head? How? Like use my head as in use my brain? Would I ball with my own head, or...? <laughs> would you rather- would you rather gaslight or light the gas? I'd rather light the gas, I don't want to gaslight anybody. Gaslighting is bad. Yeah. I don't want to gaslight people. I'd rather light the gas. Would you rather have your head be displayed in a museum or roll in mud? Why would I want my head to roll in mud? I would rather put it in up in the museum and have people look at my glorious head in all of its beauty. Yes. Okay, now next question. So my next question, ooh, why is it so small? Why is it so tiny? This is Kaizo's question. Why is it so tiny? Are This is the one. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. There we go. Kaizo's question. Would you rather change your name to Manasan Best Curl or eat crunchy wet noodles for the rest of your life? Testing me. Money, son, best girl. Okay. Go witness it. I've changed my name on my Twitter. I've changed my name on my Twitter, guys. Witness it. I, I think I can actually just take a screenshot for you guys. Hang on. Hang on a second. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna save it as... Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. There. There. There we go. I've changed it. I've changed it. <laughs> this is proof. This is proof. <laughs> proof that I'd rather change my name to Manesan Best Girl than than to eat crunchy wet noodles. Okay, someone just answered. Someone just answer to something that I what is this someone just answered to one of my posts but I have no idea which post it is okay okay anyways yes I've changed my name so 
No crunchy wet noodles for me. I hate crunchy noodles. No. Like, they have to be soggy, soupy, and hot. Actually, they don't have to be hot. They can be cold. It's fine. Soggy supremacy. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's you? Wait a minute. Uh, oh, I just realized. Oh my God. You named yourself Random Stranger. Oh my god. The Q&A already gone. Guest came in late. That's okay. Um... I, I, I did reply to your question earlier, um, Elvis, so I think, I think yours is number, oh yeah, here we go, I think this is yours, right? So I, I think I did, um, reply to this one earlier. Oh my god, um, ooh, hang on, okay. I can't select this. Oh my god. Okay. Let me choose this. Yes. Let me. Ah! Where did it go? Oh my god. Okay, there. So, um, thank you for your question, Elvis, but, uh, I don't really understand the first one, the O outfit or before Queen fit? Like, I, I, which outfit? Like, do you mean this outfit? And the one that I usually wear, the one that shows my boobas? Or my very first outfit, I don't know, which one? And also to answer to your question, I think I've answered this earlier, um, have a Hawaii trip or a Brazil trip? I think... I chose Brazil because even though I think like Hawaii is nice and all, um, I am not a huge fan of like beaches. The only reason why I want to go to Hawaii is to um, exp like just because I like like a dragon and Ichiban and the rest of the party has been there. So I think that is like kind of one of the reasons why I want to go there. But before that, I've never really thought about going to Hawaii. So I, I guess... I would rather go to Brazil because I am very um, interested in the culture there. So yeah, thank you for the question, by the way. And um, where did I stop? Which one was it? Okay, so this one I already did. Um, this one I already did. Thank you. Thank you for the question, by the way, Kaizo. Thank you. Okay. Next up, we... Oh, steamer's question. Why is it so tiny? Okay. I don't know why it's so tiny. There we go. Random question from Drunk Mine. Would you rather be headless or bodiless? Oh, there. There we go. I think, I think Elvis asked the same question. Would you rather be headless or bodyless? So head but no body or body but no head? Okay, I I was thinking a lot about this one, actually. I would say... I would say I'd rather be bodyless because then I'd still be able to see the world and I'd still be able to see you guys. Like, without a body, um, like, I, I still have a consciousness, I can still control my head, um... I can still be carried around, I can still see things. I think that's a that's a huge plus point for me to be able to see things. Like I wanna see. Um because if if I only just have a body, like I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to experience things fully. Like, yeah, sure I can touch things. But I guess I could touch and feel things with my tongue then. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I would rather be bodiless than headless. Yeah. What about you guys? I think a lot of you guys would probably want to be um bodiless as well. But I think being headless is kind of cool. 
Like, can you imagine? Like, you have like a really swole body and then you're just headless. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Touch with tongue, yes. I mean, that's the only way I can feel things. Or or maybe I could just like brush my cheek against like stuff. I don't know. Like, you know, you guys can bring me to, um, to like the... Um, you guys can bring me to like the... The, the Colosseum in Rome. And like, I could just use my tongue and like... Touch it, like feel it, like... Bleh, bleh. Like, I could just touch the wall. Yeah. Or like, you know, maybe you could brush my cheek against... ...the Colosseum, and I could feel it. Yeah, if I if I don't have a body, I guess that's how I would do things. I'll do push-up with my tongue! <laughs> oh my god, you could have a muscular tongue! <laughs> I can smell y'all thinking... Bad stuff on Bodiless Queen from afar. <laughs> oh man! Do you ever? Li Do you even lick, bro? <laughs> I'll take you to the Coliseum. Yay! Yay! Bodiless date. Can take me there, and I'll lick the Coliseum. <laughs> I've never been. I want to go. I really want to go. Like I've only ever seen pictures. Yeah. I've only ever seen it in movies. I think the last time that I saw the Colosseum in a movie was in the latest Godzilla movie. Because Godzilla was sleeping in the in the Colosseum. Yeah. It's really cute. And that's the only time I've seen the Colosseum. I maybe I could do like um Google Maps traveling next Sunday and then we can go visit Rome and go visit Colosseum. Yeah. What if the head was bouncy and acted like a blob? That's kind of weird. A bouncy blobby head. But that's kind of cute. Like it's kind of like a like can you imagine like when you bounce my head it just goes flat like when it reaches the floor like it squishes and then it jumps right back up. Yeah. Okay, alright, next question, which is also the last from the boners that I've gathered. Um, this is by Yuki. Yuki Hoshino. Yuki asks us a question. Would you punch Manesan for $10,000 or punch boners for $10,000? This is pretty easy, I'll punch Manesan. <laughs> <laughs> no questions asked. I would punch him. Like I, I think he'd understand. I, I, I can't possibly punch you guys. You guys are too precious for me. Yeah. Like I love you guys. I wouldn't punch you. I would punch Manesan though. Like I, I have no problems punching Manesan for ten thousand dollars. Like no, wait, that's not even ten thousand, is it? That's that's hundred thousand. That's a hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the cab. You actually plan to punch me, a boner. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, Yuki Hime gave the okay to punch you. So, <laughs> I'd punch. Yeah. Hang on. I'm gonna do this. Wait a minute. Is it this one? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'll punch you guys. For a, you know what? I'll, I'll punch you. I'll punch Manesan and you all. All of you. <laughs> here. Oh man. <laughs> okay, that's all of the questions from you guys. Um So I'm thinking of some would you rather questions. Um uh 
like in my head right now. Um, so I have a pretty like M eighteen question. Like it's it's a it's a pretty sussy question. Um. Okay. Would you rather have a small pee pee, but, <laughs> but, but, but you do not like ah uh, <laughs> straight away <laughs> or. Or would you rather have like a big pee pee, but you you ah uh, in three seconds? <laughs> Your censorship is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we have that as a sound bite? So, <clears throat> answer away. <laughs> so, yes, so short but worth, or long chunk but one pump. Exactly, 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 exactly. Yes, 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 yes. I shall not answer this question before my lawyer shows. <laughs> Well, but the thing is, you're gonna have a 3 CMPP. A 3 CMPP that can, like, that takes really long to, like, like, go, like, woohoo! Before it, before it, woo! Or, <laughs> or, like, a 10 CMPP, but then you kind of woo! In, like, three seconds. Yeah. You can use curse techniques more with longer cast. <laughs> what? What? Wait, what was the question again? Okay, basically. <laughs> basically. Um, would you rather would you rather have a PP that is 3 cm in Length, so it's a really tiny PP, but like you could go on for like really long. Or would you rather would you rather have like a ten cm long PP, but you just you you reach you reach the the mm in like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> so would you rather a short but durable PP? Or would you rather a long but like um um short um would you rather a long but quick fire PP? Oh my god, Steamer! Ugh, on me or my girlfriend? <laughs> what? Oh man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man, okay, so... <laughs> Can I actually do a poll? I would like you guys to like vote for it, baby. How do I do a poll? Hang on. 
Oh wait, I can I can I can start a poll. I can start a I can start a Q and A. How do I how do I start a Q and A? No. Start a poll. Okay. Ten CM but three seconds. Three CM. Okay, okay. Strat pole. <laughs> okay. You guys can go ahead and vote. Would you rather? Someone voted. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <sighs> on whom, though? I don't know. On whoever you want. I don't know. On whoever you want. I'm not going to question your targets. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Akira, for joining us. And um, thank you so much for your questions. Have a good rest, and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye-bye. Yes. Three seconds with hand jutsu. Okay. Okay, I think that's everyone that's, that has voted so far. I feel like I lost part of my soul after answering this question. So, 67% of you, um, there's six votes, okay, we have six votes, um, and I think that's about, like, four of you guys who have voted for, like, 3 cm but 10 minutes. Oh, hi there, DE, I would just stop time with my magic to make it longer? That is not an option, that is not, no, 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 no magic, no magic. <laughs> if you have to choose between one of these Yeah I like how DE just comes in and immediately like 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 he just understood the question <laughs> So 67% of you guys would rather have a small pee pee but um a long like Burst time, so yeah, I can respect that. I can respect that. <laughs> uh, I can respect that. Yeah, okay, okay. If you if if you use it correctly, you know it, it's it's not about the language. It's about using it correctly. That's the thing. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna get banned. I'm gonna get so banned. I'm speed running my 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 retirement. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I would just get by six inches. I'm not gonna read that. I can't read I can't read that. I'm gonna censor myself. <laughs> six inches me <laughs> and strap it up. Ay ay ay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Wait, there's actually stuff that could help you like lengthen your PP, no? Like, is there like a is this something that you could kind of wear over your PP? <laughs> I have to I have to find out. I'm actually really curious about that now. Oh my god. <laughs> But yes, yes, okay. What other would you rather questions do I have? Oh. Um.
Let me search up interesting would you rather questions. Oh. All right, let's 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 end the poll. We have our answer. Let's end it. Thank you guys for participating in the poll. What do you mean PP extender? Is there no such thing? Like is there nothing that you could like kind of put onto your PP and make it longer? <laughs> I I I always, I always thought that would be such a thing. Like I always thought that that would would be a thing. Meaning to say, like it's 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 like a hollow, like strap on. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> no, you stuff your you stuff your pee pee into it. Like it's gonna be hollow in the middle, and then like you're gonna you're gonna stuff your pee pee into it, and then you you're just gonna strap it onto you. But I I guess the bad thing is that you can't really feel anything. <laughs> On what article did you read that? <laughs> I don't know. I did I didn't read it from anything. I just I I I felt that this has always been a thing. <laughs> always been a thing like you're telling me that's not a thing oh no <laughs> wait so you mean small pp people are just stuck with small pps forever like, there's no there's there's no pp extender <laughs> am i even allowed to say the word pp on stream i think i'm able to I think I can say PP. PP just means Perin Purin, right? <laughs> if they ban me, I would just say PP stands for Perin Purin. I'm just gonna drag Perin into this. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind. Oh man, oh my god. So you mean all those ads that I see on the sussy sites? Like those that say like, click here to make your PP longer. Like that doesn't work. <laughs> like it doesn't help at all. Are you telling me those are scams? Like there's no, there's, there's no such thing to enhance, to enlarge. That's where dreams die. <laughs> No! Actually, there's a way to make it mm, longer by surgery. Don't ask me how I know that! <laughs> okay, I guess by surgery, I can understand that. But how though? But like, how do you even lengthen it with surgery? Like, what do you add on to it? What do you add on to it? Like, do you have to disconnect it? first and then add the huh how does it work how does how does it work though there's someone who had a surgery he died for it no wait i'm actually gonna google it right now you guys can't you you, you absolutely cannot see what i'm Googling because it, it would it would speed run me getting banned. So I'm just gonna Google it. Um can you lengthen your <laughs> by surgery? The most widely used surgical procedure to lengthen the e involves cutting the suspensory ligament that attaches the e to the pelvic to the pubic pubic bone. Suspensory ligament. Also, skin is moved from the abdomen to the e shaft. When this ligament is cut, the eh, a 
appears longer because more of it hangs down. So you... Oh. Okay. So it's just... Illusory? Like it just gives you the illusion of it being longer? Okay, I'm reading... I'm reading a news... Yeah, it only makes it look longer and not actually make it longer. Yeah, I think that's... that's... that's the... That's supposed to be what it is. Ooh. Okay, there are a few ways to actually lengthen it. There's a way by silicone implants. <clears throat> um, there's also a way by fat, fat transfer. Fat transfer. Suspensory ligament division is one of it. And then there are also a few other augmentations which are less popular, like tissue grafts. Um, higher, hyaluronic acid injections. Polylactic acid injections. And... Another one that I can't really say. Basically, it's a disassembly of the... <laughs> yes. Yes. Imagine cutting chest tissue. Make booba saggy so they look bigger. Oh, no. Saggy booba is bad. Saggy, saggy booba is bad. Like... I'd rather have like small booba than saggy boobas. Like small, but like um like lifted boobas rather than like big but saggy boobas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Back to our would you rather. Um weird. I have a I, Okay, I googled for some weird would you rather questions. Okay. Hi there! Hi there, Pigeon? Pigeon? Hi there, Pigeon! Konbane! Welcome! My name is Nefis Mirigala... <laughs> My name is Nefis Mirigala the other knife. <laughs> Nefis Mibira Galat the other knife. I'm a Dillahan Queen, and welcome to my Bark Talk. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, Pigeon. Um, so I'm doing a... Usually on uh, my... It my Sunday streams, I would do like a bar talk. If I'm not playing games, I would do Zatsudan. So, um, tonight I'm just doing like weird, um, would you rather questions. If you have, if you have a, um, a question, a would you rather question that you would like to ask me, um, you, you can go for it and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. So, Pishin, how do you come to know about me? And also, I have a very important question. Do you enjoy horror games? Yes. We are doing some sort of medical talk right now. Shh, guys, I'm trying to save my image here. Shh, shh. <laughs> I just suddenly stumbled upon you. Oh, thank you. I hope you stay. And yes, I love horror. Yay! That makes two of us. Okay, correction. I don't think I actually love horror games, but I play... I started off as a horror VTuber. So I think I started off VTubing in September... Oh, was it June last year? I think it was June? And I started off playing this game called Medicine. And that scared the living crap out of me. And I kind of made a name. For myself being like the scream queen because I do have some pretty scary screams I've kind of sent like my boners to um, into oblivion by screaming into their ears 
And yes, you are part of a community called the Boners. Nothing sussy though, because um, you guys are bones, and um, <laughs> you guys are bones. And you know, like I always tell them this. You know, you call someone who teach a teacher. You call someone who re research a researcher. So I call someone who's a bone a boner. So you are a boner. <laughs> Because you guys take the form of bones. So yes. Make a game that chat makes sus. Would you rather questions? And who is the sussiest gets picked? You know, I don't mind sussy questions at all, but... Oopsies, I got disconnected, but I'm back. Thank you for... Um... Staying. And I am... I am very... Um... So Pigeon is new here, so I'm really sorry. My internet just does this really weird like disconnecting sometimes and it would seem like I disconnected from the stream but you just have to refresh me and I'll be okay yeah so I disconnect pretty frequent because of my internet um, it's not really the best I don't really have the best connection but I'm trying my best <clears throat> yes um so anyways boners welcome Pishin and um, please make him feel at home and part of you guys. Yay! So, Pishen, I have a Twitter page. I go by the handle that is below my chat box right now. It's nephis underscore ix. So, if you would like to um, follow me on my journey um, in becoming the spookiest VTuber, um, I, I do have a Twitter page where I update my schedule. Um, if not, if you don't really want to create a Twitter, I also have, um, I also post my schedule on my um, YouTube community page every Sunday, either Sunday or Monday. I would post on these two days, and um, you'll get to know what kind of games I play. So typically, I always stream on Tuesday and Wednesday, or at least I try to. Oh, thank you, Pigeon! Thank you so much. You know, nothing makes me happier than to have a boner enjoy my content and always come back for it. If you have a horror game that you would like me to try, um, or you highly recommend, do let me know and I will try my best to buy it and play it. Yeah, so I for one don't really appreciate horror games with like just in your face jump scares. Like it, it. It would be better if um, it comes with a story. Um, I think I, even though I'm really scared of medicine, I did enjoy medicine. Um, I also played. Um, I also played Dead Space. Would you play? Actually, I did play Lethal Company with a couple of friends last month or two months ago. Um. I also played, um, um, what's that game called? The one that is also very much like Lethal Company. It just came out not too long ago. Content Warning! I played Content Warning as well. Yeah. And, and, um, um, I, oh, oh no, don't say that, DE. Don't say that. I'm trying to like welcome the new people in chat. So like I want to make them know like I want to make them feel comfortable and know what kind of content that I do. But you guys know that I love all of you the same. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I've been through like quite a lot of horror games like Alien Isolation, Dead Space, um, Hand Simulator Horror. Hi there, Giovanni! Welcome back! Wait, 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 Since Giovanni speaks Italian, hang on. Um, ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Uh, uh, wait. Um, I I in English. In English. English to Italian. Well, I'll try my best to, uh, welcome back. Bentonato. Bentonato. <laughs> I try my best. I'm so sorry if if it doesn't sound like it. 
it's nice to meet you. Whoa, this is hot. Que piacere encontrarla. Que piacere encontrarla. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Giovanni, thank you so much for coming back to my stream. Okay, let's go back to the would you rather questions. So, um, do you guys have any would you rather? Grazie. Piacere. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank you so much. That's so wholesome. Yes, and I see Pigeon is also a JoJo fan. Yes, I love JoJo. Okay, let me see. I have some... <laughs> okay, there's a, there's a would you rather question that's really funny. Would you rather look like a fish or smell like a fish? <laughs> would you rather look like a fish or smell like a fish? I think this is a really hard one, guys. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh wait, I just realized. Oh wait, Pigeon is not called Pigeon. No. <laughs> Fuck. So it's called, it's supposed to be pronounced Scion, is, is that it? <laughs> ah! This brings me back to the day when I pronounced Jail as Gao. <laughs> like the Odin English for Jail, G-A-O-L, I pronounced it as Gao instead of like Jail. Man. Hang on, D. Hang on, hang on. I'll read everyone's questions. Yeah, it's Sion. <laughs> ah, no! Ah! Pichin's funny, though. <laughs> ah! Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Alright, so... Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Would you rather... Okay, Krista asked a question. Would you rather play a sweaty competitive game or a boring game? Of course, a sweaty competitive game. I'd rather sweat and be excited about it than a boring game that puts me to sleep. So, I think that's pretty easy. Okay. Would you rather choose to be on the mountains or the sea? Mountains. I'm not really a huge fan of the sea. Like I have, a th I have thalassophobia, so I don't think I'd enjoy the sea. And also, Pigeon said, I would rather look like a cute fish than smell like a fish. Okay, okay. And you could look like a cool fish. Like I think. Wait, is 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 shark a fish? Is shark considered a fish? And then, I think DE asks a question. Be sent to a minefield every day or be sent to a men's bathroom every day? I would send, I would, no minefield because I'd, I'd like, one is dangerous. Another one is just embarrassing. I would rather put myself in an embarrassing situation than like die. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to be teleported to a minefield every day. I mean, not moving is an option, but... But not the minefield. Not the minefield, bro. Like, if I get sent to the men's bathroom every day, I could just walk out. So I think it's okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Shark is a fish, I guess. I don't know, but it certainly is a marine life form. 
Yes. Oh yeah, finally! Finally, Kaizo meets the... Italian in our chat! I try my best to converse in Italian. But I, I, I really don't know Italian at all. So... I'm really sorry if I don't answer to your questions at all, Giovanni. Sometimes I really wish I understand every single question. Uh, I mean, every single language on this earth. Oh, oh, I have one. Okay. Would you rather be isekai into a slice of life romance anime or isekai into a fantasy with magic anime? Definitely the second one. Like, it's, it's just way too easy. I mean... You get teleported into a world- you get isekai into a world with magic. That's ought to be interesting. Like, that's- that's gotta be a lot more interesting than a slice of life. Like, sure, it does come with its dangers and stuff, like, you probably fight monsters and shit like that, but... I would rather live in an interesting world than, like, a slice of life. Like, for those of you who have watched me and know me, you guys know that I do not like rom-com. I do not like rom-com anime. How many of you- How many of you guys here like rom-com anime? I am sorry, um, but I- I hate rom-com. I hate rom-com because too many times I've watched, um, rom-com anime and it just turns out to be, um, and it just ends up turning out to be, um, a harem anime and then from a harem anime it turns out to be an etchy anime and like there's tons of like fan service and stuff like that so no rom-com feels too much and exactly exactly like it's kind of cliche and it's kind of like um what's the word for it like cringy a little yeah so i i i really don't like it yeah like, too many times, I I find myself, like, not being able to enjoy rom-com because it just ends up being, like, um, like, the main male character, like, um, kabedoning the girl on the bed, on, 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 like, a, on, on the bed. With her clothes off and she's just wearing a bra. So yeah. Like like I I I, I didn't sign up for that. I just wanted like a rom com. I think the only rom com that I really enjoy um up until now is um Kimi ni Kimi Kimi ni Todoke? Kimi ni todoke, yes. Yeah. I only- I think I only enjoyed that rom-com. I don't know if you guys have heard about that one. I think they're actually going to, um... Um... Come up with a new season for that anime and I am very excited for it. Yes! Yes! Kimi ni Todoke is a classic, yes. Does DE know about that too? Can I involve Giovanni in this would you rather? Of course, of course, please. Please, please, please. Join in. He can ask in um, Italian if he doesn't understand, but I would need your help to um, translate it for me. If it's easier for him. Tonari no Kaibutsukun, also a rom-com classic. Oh yes, Tonari no Kaibutsukun. No, like zero fan service, zero like edgy, zero bra showing, and it's still okay. It's still good. Like the only, the only anime which I can accept that has like bra showing and like a little bit of edgy is probably okay. The the two anime that I can accept is Danshi Kokosei no Nichijou and Gintama. That's it. <laughs> That's it. 
Like, these are the only two anime that I can accept. Um, that they put in, like, sussy stuff in them because it's funny. And it's done right. Yeah. So, I, I, I like that. And even for, I think, um... What's, what's, what's the... What's the anime with, um... Those are not even rom com I know, like, but those are the kind of anime that I accept sussy stuff in. Yeah. Those are the type of anime that I am okay with sussy stuff being shown because those anime are funny by nature. Like, they, like, they need that bit of sus to work. Skit dance. Yes, I know skit dance. Yes. Redo of Healer. Oh, Redo of Healer is so, like, I I enjoy the sadistic part of Redo of Healer, but I didn't enjoy the, you know, you know which part I'm talking about. I, I didn't enjoy that. Yeah. Um. I... I think another anime that I unexpectedly enjoyed, more like it was an anime movie, I think it was, what was the one with the, um, what was the one with the Megumi, the Bakuretsu Megumi? I can't remember the anime name. You know, the funny thing was I did not watch the anime. At all, I did not watch a single season of that anime. I can't remember what's the name. Oh my god! Konosuba! Yes! Konosuba! <laughs> yes, thank you guys! Also, call my name Sharon. Welcome! Yeah, so I did not watch a single episode of Konosuba. And yet, I went with um, a couple of friends to watch the Konosuba movie that came out. Um, because they really wanted to watch it. So I went with them. Huh? Koyuki, Komane, welcome Yuki. Yes, yeah, so I I went to watch Konosuba with them and remember the scene where the um I, I think it was the Chimera guy. I can't remember his name. Was it the Chimera guy? Hang on. Or is his name just Chimera? Wait. Yeah, 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 I think... Oh, Shilvia! 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 Hi, D.E. I'm, I'm... Okay, look, I... Um... I don't appreciate the guilt tripping. Like, I... I... First off... Um, there are a lot of boners in this chat. I know, like, it's it's a couple of few that I can just answer to, and um, all that. I, I know I can see, like, everyone's questions and everything, but just give me some time to answer, or you can always ask again um, and get me to see it, and I would answer, because the chat is moving, I can't possibly see everything, so... I don't really want... I don't really appreciate the guilt tripping. And please don't... Make this like a boners problem where like... Oh, no one will care about you. That's not true, okay? That is not true. Um, I... I am very happy that you came to watch my stream. But I cannot answer to every single question. I do miss some of them. And yes, we are just here to have fun. Alright, so, yes, please, please understand that. I am so sorry if you really wanted to me, really wanted me to answer a question and I can't answer it straight away. Or I, or it seems like I end up skipping your question. Um, but, you know, I hope you don't go trip me like that. Alright, um, once again, thank you so much. Is he even there? It's okay, uh, if... I just hope that this doesn't continue or be a thing. Um, Alright, back to back to our questions. Okay, so I <laughs> I actually watched 
Konosuba. And um, surprisingly, I enjoyed the stream. Uh, um, I enjoyed the scene where he absorbed the main male character into his boobs. <laughs> you know what stream I? You know what scene I'm talking about, right? <laughs> and then he said he feels something like poking against his butt. <laughs> I really enjoyed that scene. I don't know if you guys still remember that. Oh, Elvis is asking me, play the hit game Killer7. It's a good political and anime live cutscene. Is it very political? I'm really scared that it might bring up some very political um, topics for the stream, which is not really great. Like, I don't want to deal with politics politics on stream. Very? Not very. Okay, not very. Let me check this out. Game Killer 7. It's a shooting game. Oh, I'm bad at shooting game. <laughs> I'm so bad at shooting game. Game Killer 7? Ooh, what an interesting art style. Oh, it, it, it feels so old, but it looks really old, though. Okay, I, I saw someone's review and it says, It's a very unorthodox, confusing, and weird game. I can't say for sure what genre it is. What the story was really about or anything else. <laughs> Basically, everyone's just saying this is a really confusing game. Um... I could try it. it. It has really good ratings though. It's rated 10 out of 10. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Doc has heard about it too. Welcome, Doc. Oh, money. Yay. There's a lot of people tonight. And also, I answered your question earlier, Doc. I think one of your questions was... um, Was here? No. There. Sorry, it's like kind of down below what are you more comfortable with your head on or off thank you for asking the question by the way dog um i am i, I think i'm more comfortable for for uh with 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 my head on on yeah like if you're asking logically i think comfort would mean more like you know, if I drink water, I don't really want the water to be dripping out of my head, my neck. And if I eat food, I don't really want it to be falling out of my throat. So if you're asking in terms of comfort, I would rather have my head on. Yeah. But I really like to show off like this, this whole like process of like taking my head off. Like you guys know I can pop my head back on and I can take it back off like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So thank you for the question. Also, I think Yuki asked me a question earlier. Vanta or Dopio? Yuki, why? Yuki, why? Would you rather? Would you rather have Vanta or Dopio? Is that a question? So... For those of you who don't follow Niji Sanji, I like Vantacrow, Vantacrow Bringer, and I like Dopio Drop Scythe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yuki's making me choose between a rock and a hard place. Hmm. Ah. Uh, She's asking me to choose. I would rather die. I would rather die so I don't have to choose between the two. <laughs> uh, okay, if I absolutely have to choose, I think I would go for Dopio. I think Dopio is more of my aesthetic. Yeah, and I, I, I liked Dopio before Vantacrow. So, Dopio, Dopio, Dopio. Dopio. And Dopio has some of my favorite color schemes. And I cosplayed Dopio before as well. Not not the Jojo Dopio. Not the Jojo. But I have cosplayed the Jojo Dopio before as well. Yeah. 
I don't think I've told you guys this before. I cosplayed Jolene Kujo, and I've cosplayed um, Dopio. Um, what's his full name? I can't remember what's his full name. Dopio. Jojo. Vinegar. Oh, Vinegar Dopio. Yeah. I've cosplayed Dopio before. But it was kind of like a closet cosplay. I had to like take one of my um, knitted jackets. Um, knitted, no, knitted sweater. Knitted sweater. And I had to cut it up. And <laughs> I had to kind of like... Um... Work the wig out. Work work the wig out myself. It was quite a difficult cosplay. Yeah, I had someone. Um, I had a partner who cosplayed Diavolo with me, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, so we had a Diavolo, and I was cosplaying as as, as I was cosplaying as Dopio. Um, I cosplay as Jo Jolene Kujo. I cosplayed as Narancia before yeah so i think in terms of like design i would say um my favorite jojo would be part um five bento oreo in terms of design but if you're asking me which jojo am i interested in uh Am I- do I like the best? Like, which series? I like Stardust Crusader the best. Because of its plot. And I like Kakyoin a lot. Okay. Alright, back to the would you rather. Um... Do I prefer... Pineapple pizza? Or... Is that chocolate pi pizza? Is that Oh, wait. Would you rather eat pineapple pizza or chi chicken chicken with chocolate wait chicken with would you rather eat pineapple pizza or chicken with chocolate you're asking me to choose between something that is perfectly normal and something that's just completely wild judge <laughs> joe money would you rather snort chili powder or wasabi powder? How about not, not at all? <laughs> How about not at all? I would rather not snort anything. <gasps> um. Okay. Answering to Giovanni's question. Um. I think I would go with. Pineapple pizza because I I know it's a combination that a combination that works, but chicken with chocolate just sounds like it's gonna give me a stomach ache. Yeah, and stop exposing me, you. Can <laughs> stop it. Why is this a topic? <laughs> why am I getting attacked here? Why 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 am I getting exposed? <laughs> um a, a, a friend dared me to snort like inhale chili powder and um for $5 I, I, I did the Milo powder one for free, though. I just, <gasps> like, inhaled it. Like, no sweat. Um, but for chili powder, I, I did I did ask to be paid. Like, you want me to snort something that vile? You have to give me, like, you have to at least pay me. Like, just in case I need, like, I need to go to the doctors or something. <laughs> So yeah, I I I inhaled the chili powder for five dollars. Don't ask me why. I was I, I got dared. 
and I got paid. And I took the $5 with pride. <laughs> yes. Pineapple pizza for sure. So, Pigeon would also choose pineapple pizza. But they do use cocoa beans for savory meals. You know, I don't doubt that chocolate can make for some savory meals. I think... Um, I think some places do do that. Like, what are some examples of like a savory chocolate meal? Dough. Hmm. Well, I've eaten like... I've always thought that like... Waffles are supposed to be like dessert only. But recently I've eaten... I've eaten like... Chicken, like fried chicken with waffles. And surprisingly, that worked very well. So, that's something. I've also... Um, recently, I've also visited an ice cream place um, in my country. I come from Singapore, by the way. Um, so, recently, I've eaten um, an ice cream um, that is nori. Nori. Seaweed flavor. Okay? Nori is seaweed. So, I've eaten an ice cream that is nori and white chocolate flavored. Yeah. Like, like when you hear like seaweed and white chocolate flavored ice cream, that's gotta be wow, right? But it worked so well, guys. It was so good. Like, when I first got the ice cream, it looked really weird because it was like gray in color. Yeah, it was gray in color. Um, but, but... But it worked out. Seaweed ice cream. That sounds, yeah. When when I first heard it, I was like, oh, that's that's gonna be weird. Like that's not gonna work out. But they, but it actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Like it tasted sort of like sesame and um, white chocolate together. So it 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 actually works. Nori ice cream. That's interesting. Yes, it is. So you could still like you could still see like flakes of um flakes of nori on it, like flakes of seaweed on it. And then like it has like white chocolate bits in it and it's just so good. It is so good. Yeah. Gray ice cream. You're not talking about read that so I'm gonna censor that <laughs> flavored ice cream <laughs> no I will never I will never I don't know how that tastes like but it's gotta be bad right <laughs> you guys should again be banned Yo, Queen, I have an interesting would you rather I prefaced earlier. Sure. Come at me again. Japan do me make weird flavors. Yeah, Japan do have some very weird flavored stuff that just works out, by the way. Um, speaking about Japan, I've been to um, Japan like four times. And I can't really think of the weirdest thing that I've eaten. Maybe fugu sashimi, probably the weirdest thing that I've eaten. I can't remember what's the weirdest that I've eaten. Uh, oh my god. I've only ever eaten like nice food in Japan. Like nice cheap food. The people would welcome you in Rome. Then <laughs> oh, thank you, Giovanni. See you. Ciao. Bye bye. Thank you for the questions. By the way, hang on. I I I gotta I gotta. Um. Thank you for the interesting question. Wow! Holy shit! Grazie per la domanda. Doman Grazie per la domanda. Interessante. Interessante. 
Grazie per la domanda interessante. <laughs> Thank you for the interesting question. Did I do it right? I feel like I should sign up for Duolingo. <laughs> we should do a Duolingo stream together, guys. <laughs> Queen, can I ask you? Ask more would you rather question. Of course, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Would you rather live forever and forget about everything every day or live for 10 more years and remember everything? Oh. Live forever and forget about everything every day. Yeah. Um. Wait, but living. Living forever sounds really sad. Like, can you imagine you just don't die and then you just keep l I mean it's interesting though because like um well okay if if I do forget everything every day and I just end up like learning about the world again every single day I think that's okay but can you imagine um living forever and then seeing the world go through like war um and and um um like another um worldwide like virus situation like covid again um like you know what i mean like living forever and then seeing the world go through things like that again is just horrible yeah. Also, welcome back, DE. Would you rather sacrifice one of your viewers or only read one viewer? What do you mean? Would you rather sacrifice one of your viewers or only read one viewer? So, would I sacrifice one of my viewers to, like, read, like, to, to be able to, like, read everyone's messages? Or, like, would I only be able to choose from one viewer? And then just read his message like forever. Like is 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 that is that like your question? <laughs> DB like asking some deep questions. Blink blink if blink twice if you need help, D E. Would you rather have no self-aware or no limbs? Mm. No limbs. I would rather be self-aware. Yes. Like, I think having no self-awareness sometimes is a very scary thing. Yeah. Imagine being a fan of an idol for five years, but the idol doesn't even notice you, like me. Oh, wait, no. Okay. D.E. I, 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 I have to, I have to correct you on this. Okay, see. Idols kinda, like, greet, like, a lot of people. Like, they deal with a lot of people. Um, so it's not just you, you know, like... They get, like, thousands of messages. They have thousands of fans. Um, you really have to be very lucky for an idol to notice you. And, you know, you're not, you're not the only one. I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of us here have been through that. Like, I have, like, Japanese seiyus that I like. Like, Japanese voice actors, actresses that I like. Um, I've, I've been to concert. You know, I've, I've been to concert. I've made, like, a... Like a whole, you know, like, um, um, you know, the card thingy that I'd hold up, like, that has their name. And then, like, I would wave it at the concert, like, frantically, and then I would show them, like, like, hey, I'm here. Like, please, like, um, call out to me, notice me. But, you know, that never happened. Yeah. I've, I've, I've met up with, like, my favorite cosplayers, like, gas cosplayers, but they don't even realize that I'm there. I have cosplay as Dopio, and I have actually um, uploaded um, 
like you know I've I've actually uploaded my picture under his tag before and you know hoping that he would see it but he has never noticed that but you know it's like it's 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 how it is it's just what it is yeah a lot of idols just don't notice you and you have to be okay with it like it's it's not the end of the world and it's it doesn't determine or define what kind of person you are you know what i'm saying like you worth a lot more than that like you don't have to get like idols to notice you you don't have to get people to notice you to to know your own worth yeah Neff is talking things through sincerely that's something i don't usually oh i i i try to like instill life lessons into people like i i am that one wow friend that would go like like oh eat shit eat shit and i'll be like oh yeah i'm that like but then if you actually sit down and ask me for like advice i would be like you know what life isn't always about rainbow and sunshine sometimes when you are at your rock bottom the only place you can go is up <laughs> like yeah i'm that kind of friend yeah is 13 viewers underrated or normal rated oh um actually i only have 13 viewers <laughs> I have like 14 viewers right now. Of course, I want like Of course, I'm looking forward to a lot more viewers. Um but you know, having just 13 committed and tight community just it's just nice. It's just very nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to manage 13. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm I am so glad that like uh my numbers have grown. But, you know, I will never forget you guys like ever, ever ever. Like even even Pigeon who just joined. I'm going to remember Pigeon like throughout my VTuber journey. Like you guys have made like um hard long-lasting um impressions on me i'm not gonna forget you de like ever like even if i become popular in the future which i hope i do of course like i want more people to know about like the kinds of the kind of games that i enjoy streaming i want people to enjoy watching my content i want to bring a lot more happiness um through games and through talking so yeah also, I'm sorry for ignoring some of the would you rather questions because I'm going through like a philosophical phase right now. <laughs> but, um, okay, let me get back to the um, questions. So if you guys have anything that you want, you really want me to answer and um, I missed it earlier, uh, please just refresh me again and just let me know. Okay, let me rephrase my question. Would you rather be the villain that stop, that stop all the way but the world hates you or invent a medication to cure all disease, disease but no one believed it was your invention I would invent a medication to cure all disease yeah I think being a villain is just not really my style like I think an example that I can give you guys is like you know when I play like games that make me choose um, when I play, I, I enjoy, like, Choices Matter games. So, when I'm forced to make, like, a decision um, to do something, like, really good or, like, really evil, I would, I would usually go for, like, the good choices because I genuinely believe that, like, people deserve better. And, um... <laughs> I... I... You know, I'd rather really just focus on making the world a better place than to be an evil villain that just, you know, um, 
and have everyone hate me. Like, I don't need every... I don't need people to know that, hey, I've invented, like, something really cool that could help the world. But, like, if it helps the world, it, it means that I can help my family through diseases as well. And that is more important to me than anything else. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> you want people coming to you without consent. Thousands of people in chat, sometimes fans go to you and harass you. Doesn't seem fun. Well, I think um, it's part and parcel of being a VTuber. I've um, made up my mind to like deal with haters and people who just can't seem to enjoy my content. You know, um, I did a JoJo song cover um, a while back. I think it has been a year ago. And someone recently actually commented on um, someone actually commented on my on my Jojo cover that um, what did they say though? Okay, wait, I have to. Sorry, I, I, I think I was just taken aback because my... Because someone just slammed the door really loudly in my house. I can't... I can't figure out who... I don't know if it was by accident or... Was it deliberate because my parents had an argument just now and... I'm really scared to find out. You know what? I'm, I'm actually gonna give myself a peace of mind. I'm gonna go check it out. Hang on. <laughs> Be right back, guys. I'm back. Oh. Okay. Uh. All right. Let me go look for the. Let me go look for the. Uh, the comment. What the fuck did Perrin just posted <laughs> an hour ago? What is that? going on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Perrin? <laughs> oh my god. Leave it up to Perrin to think of stuff like that. Anyways, um, Pigeon is new here. If you, if you like, like, a nonsensical, um, <laughs> VTuber, um, go check out Perrin Purin. um, She's a gargoyle VTuber. <laughs> and she's really fun to watch. Um, she's my friend. And um, if you like, like, chill, really chill vibe stream, go check out Yuki Hoshino. Yesh. I call up with them very often, so... Um, you, I think you might be able to find them. Um... Under, like, some of my VODs, I think. Yeah. Yeah, here. We have Yuki in the chat. So, Yuki usually stream, like, farming games and, like, um, uh, a lot of, like, chill, chill games. So, if you like, if you like those games, uh, do check them out. Support, support our VTubers. Yeah. They're all, like, um, they're all indie VTubers, so it would really mean a lot to them. Um, your support will really mean a lot to them. So that 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 is why I really want to look out for like my fellow indie VTubers. Okay. Um, yes, I was about to I was searching for my um cover. So 
Something oddly philosophical is going on in my chat right now with Artemis. <laughs> Okay, yes. Um, someone actually commented on my Sonochi no Sadame cover a month ago saying that I knew that even the JoJo community has degens. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not telling you guys this because I want you guys to like go on a go on a witch hunt and like call him out. No. You don't you, you you guys don't have to like you guys don't even have to like dislike his, his comment or anything like it doesn't matter but what i'm telling you guys is that hey like there are there are comments like that in um you know under i, I just covered a song which i like and someone just found a need just someone just sees the need to comment something like this and that's okay because that is the kind of person that they are and that's fine that's okay i'm not going to like i'm 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 not going to go visit him and claim his head at night or anything like that nah now we don't do that right boners we don't we are we are we're kind and nice people. We don't go... We don't go hunting for their heads like that, do we? <laughs> okay, I'm joking. But like... You know... I'm completely okay with that. I have come to terms that there will be people who will like my stream. There will be people who will like my content. And there will be people who will not like my content. And... That's okay. Queen, your heart is bigger than your boop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I, I I'll take that. Yes. So, for all of you here who support me and love me th just the way I am, I cherish each and every one of you. Which is why I really appreciate and really take time to answer everyone's questions. Um to read everyone's comments on their chat. So, um, thank you so much, Boners, for showing me this much love and this much support. Also, hi there, Danish! Kombanep! Kombanep, Danish! Welcome. Queen NSFW art coming soon. Thank you. Thank you for always drawing me sussily. I love sussy art. Yeah. While you were gone, we had a sussy, like, would you rather question just now, which I think you would have enjoyed, but you missed out on. <laughs> so if you wanna- if you wanna know what it is, you're gonna have to watch the VOD. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. The JoJo community are actually degens. No way. No way. Come on. JoJo- okay. JoJo watchers are- Are I think they're real chats, honestly. Girls who watch JoJo are real chats, in my opinion, because not a lot of girls watch JoJo. Like I have to admit, when I first see, when I first saw JoJo, um, I was really um turned off by the art style. So if I had to like, if if there was ever a question, um. That goes like, hey, what is an anime that really surprised you? That would be... Um... Jojo. Because I... A friend was just begging me. Begging me to watch Jojo. And he was like, please just at least watch part 3. Like, you don't even have to watch part 1 or part 2. I mean, they do set the setting for... Um, like Jojo lore, but it's okay. You don't have to watch those two. Just watch part three. I guarantee you'll like you'll 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 like the characters. And I was like, I I and and I I searched up Jojo. I didn't watch it at first. I was like, I searched up Jojo, um, Stardust Crusaders, and I was like, ew, no, the they're they're too muscular, like they're too muscly, and like they look blockish. 
they look blockish and it's just I was just like why are they so blocky hi there Jack Frost come on now we have a we have a persona lover in our chat oh Jack Frost welcome <laughs> yeah, my name is Nephis Miracle at the other night, which I'm sure you know when I click into my stream. And thank you so much for joining us, by the way. It's good to see another Persona fan um, in chat because I, I don't think a lot of my bonus are Persona fans. So it's, it's pretty cool to see someone who likes Persona turn up. I do have a handful, but not, not all of my viewers enjoy Persona. So, pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining, by the way. Yeah. So, speaking about Persona, I'm gonna... I am going to be streaming Persona 3 Reload on Wednesday. So, if you like Persona, do come join me um, this Wednesday at 8pm UTC plus 8. I, I'm streaming from Singapore, so that's my time zone. UTC plus 8. Yeah. Okay, so back to Jojo. So, so when I first saw it, I was like, ew, too blocky. And then my friend was like, please, please, I'm just gonna make you watch like one episode with me. If you don't like it, just, just don't continue the rest. And I was like, okay, fine. And we watched it together. And let me tell you, I have never been so wrong in my entire life like i've never felt more embarrassed in my entire life because god do i love jojo <laughs> man do i love jojo oh my god i'm into jojo man right now i'm telling you <laughs> and like i i actually it was so like it was so embarrassing because i actually binge watched I binge watched part three of Jojo. I finished like I think when I was watching um part three, it was when it first came out. And like the second season for part three was not even out yet. So I binge watched like the f the whole like first season of Jojo like Stardust Crusader. I binge watched like the whole season of it, like in one sitting. And then my sorry ass had to like sit and wait for like weekly updates <laughs> for the anime. And like it was painful. It was so painful. The wait for new episodes was so painful. And then after I finished watching like part three, I was so blown away. Um, and that actually made me watch like part one and part two yeah i would say you're not really missing out much by skipping part one all you need to know is um um dio became a vampire um and he killed like jonathan's dog and jonathan learned breathing he learned how to master breathing to defeat Dio, and Dio gets sealed away under the sea. That's pretty much it. So, part one I feel was a little boring for me, was a little dry for me. Um, but part two, oh my god, part two, when the Pillar Men came out, I was like, my boy Wamu. <laughs> I love the song so much. I love the Pillar Man theme so much. Yeah. But if you skip part one, you miss the Speedwagon origin story. Oh, yeah, you do. Um, Speedwagon best boy, though. Speedwagon best boy. Um, yeah. You do kind of miss, miss it, but like it's not really like a huge aspect of the story. Do they even have like Speedwagon people in part 3 because I can't remember I can't remember did Speedwagon die 
for Jonathan? Oh no, wait, no. The um it's the Zeppeli that died. Oh Zeppelis are the one that are destined to die for JoJo's. For all of the JoJo's. Uh Oh right! Speedwagon brought Iggy. Oh that's why Iggy died. <laughs> wait uh, <laughs> Is that it? Wait, what was the name of the first Zeppeli? I can't remember. Oh, welcome back, Fisher! Konbane! Welcome back. There was a battle between Komi-san and Speed... Why? Why was there even a battle between Komi-san and Speedwagon? <laughs> Why? Why are these two even, like... Contenders? <laughs> Why? Also, I just realized that Pigeon likes Persona too. That is amazing. I have like two more um, Persona lovers in my stream, and that's amazing because I I am doing Persona Three Reload. So, and also I just started watching Bucky. Um, thanks to thanks to I think some of you guys actually mentioned Bucky on stream, and I watched Bucky. Yes, I haven't finished it though. But I do agree that Bucky characters are a lot more like blocky, but I've come to have like a a renewed sense of um admiration for Bucky. Yeah. Like I've learned not to judge an anime by its blockiness. <laughs> so yes. Who's Bucky? Who's Bucky? Bucky the Blocky! <laughs> Who's Bucky? Bucky Bucky the Grappler. Yes. And the art is really pretty cool, by the way. Like, I think me 10 years ago would probably not have liked it. But me now knows how to appreciate it. Yeah. Your cat greets me. Oh, hi there, Fisher's cat. <laughs> yes, Minecraft Steve versus Bucky the Blocky, yes! Do I know Anime Fist of the North Star? I know about it, but again, um, the art style put me off at first. But I don't think I would enjoy um, Fist of the North Star, even, even though now I learned not to judge a book by its cover. I don't think it's really my kind of anime that I would go to. Like, I guess Jojo is an exception because, like, I really like Kakyoin. <laughs> Hello, Alice! Meow! Meow! This is the North Star is inspiration for Araki to make Jojo. I can see that, honestly, I can see that. Like, I, I, I can tell that they have, like, pretty similar art styles. Yeah. Okay, so, any more would you rather questions before we end the stream for tonight? I'm, I'm, I feel very happy because, like, I have, I have quite a bit of, um, boners in my chat right now. Um, and... You know, giving me a lot of support, a lot of love, a lot of questions for me to answer, and I'm so happy. I'm 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 so happy that this stream turned out better than I expected. I was I wasn't expecting this much questions. Or, you know, if you guys have any question at all, you can just ask me. It doesn't even have to be a would you rather because we do have like two new people in chat. So um if you guys have any questions at all you want to get to know about me let's make it this stream hell why not also commander alien good morning to you on your side and alien i answered your questions about um whether or not i'd like to um be able to transform into different species of animals or would i rather transform into 10 different aliens and i chose to Transform into 10 different aliens because I think that would be generally cooler. And also, I just, I think I just saw like Jack Frost say, Bobobo, Bobobo. 
Bo 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 bo. I remember actually reading that on Shonen Jump. Oh my god, does it like, does it give you guys like a sense of nostalgia? I don't know if you guys have like Shonen Jump in your country. Um, they do sell Shonen Jump in my country. They do bring in Shonen Jump, and I bought Shonen Jump because back then I wanted to in I wanted to read like Naruto, um, and D Gray Man. Um, and I think Gin was was Gintama in Shonen Jump too. I can't remember. I can't remember what other. Um, oh wait, I think it was Negima. Negima? I wanted to read Negima as well. So... Um... Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. So I bought Shonen Jump and I ended up like... Reading... Like a chapter of... bo 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 <laughs> And it was like... It was like... Whoa! Like... I wouldn't say that I, um, it really made me want to, like, follow the whole thing, but I was taken aback, um, uh, by the, 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 the design, the design of the main character. <laughs> I like his hair. <laughs> I really like his hair, like, I think it's, like, very, very, um, very satisfyingly round. Hi there, Ice Stick. Welcome. Oh my god. This is, I think this is the first time that I've seen my viewer count go up to 17. Thank you guys for showing so much love on my stream. Keep the questions coming, by the way. Um, okay, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Danish asked me a question. Okay, wait. Would you rather make a booba mouse pad or Queen's Jarmurk? A, a booba mouse pad. Because, like, you guys would actually have a use for a booba mouse pad, right? Like, you guys can actually use me as a mouse pad. Like, it would make sense. Like, why would you buy me in a jar? Like, why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nefis body pillow and which would, would you guys want to buy a body pillow of me? You know, if if you guys actually really do want a body pillow of me, I could make something work. I could, but I have to know that you guys are interested because I'm not gonna spend money on something that you guys are not gonna buy. Okay? If you guys are gonna buy my body pillow, I will make it. Okay. I'm gonna get like Rin to draw the art, like Rin Mama to draw the art or something. Okay. And then Krista has a question. I wanna know, Queen, do you boil the water first or add noodles? And then add noodles, then boil the water. Uh add noodles, then boil the water. Yes. I'm too impatient. So I like I'll get the, I'll get a pot of water. I'll put it on the stove, and then I turn the the heat the heat on, and then as soon as I turn on the stove, I just put my noodles in. And then after that, once the water starts boiling, I know that's when my noodles is ready. Yeah, so easy peasy, you know. That's how I do it. I know it's gonna get some hate. I know you guys are gonna like, like. Like, insult me for that again. How do we send questions? You can just ask um, in the chat, actually. If I see it, I'll answer it. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Uh, have I watched FLCL? Is that how I pronounce it? I know of that anime, but I've not. I've never watched it. But I know of that anime. If I remember correctly, it does have some, um, it, it has mecha in it, right? Is it pronounced fully coolie? <laughs> really? Fully coolie? I was 
thinking like flickle in my head. Like it sounded a lot more French than I imagine it. Flickle. Ergo proxy, yes. Ergo proxy, yes. I watched Ergo proxy. I love Ergo proxy. I want to cosplay the main character from Ergo proxy. Yes. Okay, and then I see like Fisher spamming Lem is hello. I love you, best queen ever from Ki from Kitty Language. Thank you, thank you for letting me know that Fisher. I read ya. Thank you for loving me. Thank you to you and Ellis both for loving me. Okay, uh, let's see what other questions. Gintama was so good. Gintama is so good. It still is very good. I love it. Like, I love every single episode of Gintama. Like, I feel like Gintama is the only anime that have, that has made me laugh and cry at the same time. Like, I don't know how any anime is going to do that. But Gintama did it. Innocence Activate. Love that anime. Yes. D. Grayman. I also love Shaman King. Um, I think... Another really underrated one is Law of Ueki. I don't hear a lot of people talking about, about it. But Law of Ueki is a pretty old anime. So that really shows my age, you know, when I talk about like Law of Ueki. It really shows my age. I generally enjoy mecha anime. I have watched... Um, I've watched... Uh... Neo Genesis Evangelion. Um, I've watched Gundam. I didn't watch every single Gundam series, though. Um, I think I, I, I think I actually left out. Um, I left out the Unicorn series. And the, um, I think I left out Iron Blooded Orphans as well. I didn't watch IBO, I didn't watch Unicorn. But everything else I watched, yeah. I, that, that reminds me, I have to catch up on, um, IBO and UC. Yes! I know about Barbatos though, I, because I love, um, I love building Gunpla, so... I I do like Babatos design a lot. I haven't been spending on Gunpla lately. Um, I think my latest purchase um, is not actually a Gunpla, but um, it's an it's a plamo of um, the Netflix Ultraman. And I bought the plamo kit for um, Ultraman 7. And I have not built it yet because I just have no time. That being said, I maybe should do a hand cam stream where I build like the plamo with you guys, perhaps. I have not because the thing is, I lost my own nipplers. I know you guys are gonna like say something sussy about that. Nipplers, okay? Nipplers, not nipples. Nipplers, all right? Nipplers. The it's the it's the scissors looking thingy that cuts the um cuts away the plastic for the plamo kit. Yeah. So I don't have. Like, I lost my old pair of nipplers, so, um... Isn't it just called nipples? Nippers? No, it's not called- wait, is it called- is it, is it just called nippers? No, I've always been calling a nippler! Is it just- oh, it's only with 1P, nipplers? Wait, they said that- Wait, when I searched for Nippler, they gave me like, you know, the- the binky? Like, you know, the thing that like, babies suck on? They gave me that. What? It's not- that's not what a Nippler is, is it? Okay, I'm- I'm confused now, but basically I'm missing the tools. And I used to custom- Um, I used to custom 
build my... Like, I used to do custom builds for my Plamo kits, my Gunpla kits. Meaning to say, I would actually take parts from different um, Plamo kits and then put them into a single, like, and then use them to build, like, whatever I want to build. Like, say, for example, if I'm working on, like, a... Like a... Um... Like a... Like a... Gundam... Say, Ashtray. Ashtray is my favorite Gundam. Okay? And I would basically source for, like, parts from different Gunpla. Like, um, maybe, like, cheaper... Um cheaper gunpla that I own, I would take those parts out and I would like custom stuff. Got any pictures? Oh. Uh, they're in my old phone. Let me see if I can do like recovery on my old phone and then I can bust those pictures out for you guys. Because there's some pretty great pictures. I entered one for the competition, but it didn't win first place. It got like a consolation prize though. Yeah. I entered like the um, GBWC. G GBWC? Yeah. Gunpla Builders World Cup. Don't accident. Oh, yeah. I don't really want to dox myself. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I have to be careful about that. Oh, man. If I told you guys about it, I can't show you guys the. Um, the the thing that I... Oh no, I can't tell you guys then. Okay, but I didn't tell you guys which tournament I entered. So... It was one of the builds. It was one of the builds. Which ashtray? Oh, red. Red, 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 red. I love red ashtray. But the... The one that I... Custom... Built? Was the Sengoku ashtray. It came with the katana, right? So, that one I custom built it. And then I even made a diorama for it. Like a simple little diorama. Because I wasn't like very good with building like environment and stuff like that. So, I was, I was, I just built something very basic. Like it, it's just standing on like rocks. Yeah. Have I watched Gundam Built Fighters? Yes, I have. I have. Yes. Um... Wait, let me refresh myself on the... Um... GBF... Characters. Gundam... Build... Fighters. Okay, this is the one where they fight with the... Mini... Gundam, no? Yeah, this is the one. Oh wait, was it Build Fighters Try? Wait, are they the same thing? I've not watched Try yet. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 no. I've watched Try, yes. But I can't really remember Try that much. I remember Build Fighters though. I I like the... Um... Uh, Argegyan. Argegyan. Wait. Yagya? Argyagya? Yes, Argyagya. <laughs> oh, it's 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 Gundam talk now, Ice Dick. Yes, I love Gyanko. I mean, like she's a little shit, but I think her love for the main character is really cute, and I like her. Um, I like her. Her. Gundam, her suit a lot, her, her mobile suit. Oh! Good nap, Kaizo! Thank you for joining us, by the way! Thank you for the questions as well! I laughed a lot. See you on the next stream. Thank you! Bye bye! Yes. Gyatko! Yes! Gyatko! I really like our Gya Gya. And it sounds really cute too, like Gya Gya. I like it. So yes. So yeah. Oh man. 
Speaking about like Gunpla and everything got me really excited because I used to own um, airbrush. I used to own an airbrush that could help me like um, do like paint jobs for my custom Gunpla. Yeah, but my but um when yeah i had an airbrush but it broke it broke like basically i was okay my airbrush broke so for a while i was forced to not be able to custom anything because i wasn't able to repaint anything properly um queen gotta go bye bye that's okay. Oh, oh, we are going off already. All right. I think it's a good time to end off soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight on my stream, by the way. And I hope you guys had fun um, on my Would You Rather stream. I'll see you guys um, real soon. And do check out my um, schedule, which I'll be posting either later or tomorrow to see what games we'll be playing this week. All right. See you guys. See you all. Okay, so like, I think when I was um, moving like stuff about, I kind of ended up breaking my airbrush. But I got DC'd, I got DC'd. Oh no. Oh, thank you so much, Pijan. Thank you. Until next time, Nephews, wish you the best. Thank you, I wish you all the best too. Um, if you, if you... Want to join for the Persona stream? I think I'll be streaming Persona 3 Reload on Wednesday. So, only join if you can. Alright? Don't give up on your priorities for VTubers. You know, go live your life. Go touch grass if you want to. Go meet friends. Go spend time with your family. And only when you have time and you really want to watch me, we'll welcome you with open arms. Thank you so much, Pijin, for joining us. And I'm sorry I pronounced your name wrongly, but it, it kind of stuck with me. It's an endearing thing. Thank you so much, Pishan. And till we meet again. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, the airbrush is kind of expensive. And I was really sad when I broke it. So, for a long time, I didn't really get a new airbrush. Not even now. Um, I think I've lost a lot of my, like, custom building skills already. Um, I used to be really good at paneling. Like, you know how, like, um, when you don't do... Eat grass will do? <laughs> Not eating grass, touching grass. You know, like, if you want to go out there and spend time outside with the world. <laughs> oh, you're joking with me. Oh, man, you're playing with me. You're playing me. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoy your time here as much as I enjoy having you here, by the way. Thank you so much. And I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye. Yep. So, um, you know, you guys used to do, like, paneling. Like, you, you can actually do paneling for Gunpla. But, um, you know, when, when you get, like, a really bad marker or, like, a, or, like, a marker that doesn't have enough precision, it kind of fucks up your paneling. Like, it just kind of leaks all over the place, and it's not really nice. Panel lining is my favorite part. Exactly! Like, it's so satisfying when it's actually smooth and nice, and it sits, like, nice and tight in, in, the, in the grooves. I used to be able to do panel lining really well, but I think I need to get those. Like, I need to practice again because I just, I, I don't think I'll be able to do, like, panel lining, um... As well as I did before already. So. Yeah. It's been. Oh my god. It's been really fun to talk about like. Gundam stuff. Because it. It is a passion of my like. Building Gunpla and everything. Um. Man. So. When I first watched like. GBF. I was really excited. Because. Because. You know. It, it felt more. Real. Like. Oh. They're not actually like. Riding in like. Huge mecha. And everything. Like. They are piloting the mechas in a way which, you know, I feel like I could relate to. Like, how I would play with my plumo kits and all. GBF is all builder's dream. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I, I guess it hits closer to home. I should actually buy one Gunpla. Gunplas are really expensive, so only spend if you have the money to. 
it is a very expensive um sinkhole of a hobby to get into um i can't remember how much money i've spent on gumpla um and just paint alone you know just just paint alone not even the plamo kits um expensive paint that i've bought like gold paint silver paint those paints that actually shimmer um ooh those are so expensive and i've i've got like really good quality brushes to do like custom painting as well man those were the days makes me want to go back to like building gunpla again but i think maybe my first hand cam should be us like trying to build my um ultraman 7 together i think that would make for a fun stream yeah okay i guess this is uh this comes to an end to our would you rather segment because um a lot of the viewers a lot of the boners left already and um i don't really have any more questions to ask so thank you so much guys for joining me tonight on the nefes bar on the live stream it's amazing. Um, I I just feel so happy tonight. Um, my God, I I can't even express how happy I am properly because I'm just I'm just filled with excitement. Um, I'm just filled with love. I'm just filled with happiness. I am. It's so much that I'm about to cry. Okay, yeah. Tonight was such a wholesome night and. We got to talk about a lot of stuff. We got to know me. We got to know you guys. That is awesome. So yeah, let's do another stream like that again next time. It's okay to cry. I am strong queen. I will not cry. Sniff sniffs in the background. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, I will be posting my schedule very soon. So keep a lookout for that. And um, once again... I am so appreciative of you guys joining. And I will see you all very, very soon. Um, do have a good night's rest. Pichin, you're still here. Nefis, you're definitely going to reach beyond. Oh, you have no idea how much those words mean to me. Sometimes words can really strengthen someone. And with those words, I'm going to keep pushing forward and make this a dream come true for me. I've always wanted to you know, be a streamer, um, to share the games that I love with everyone, to share things that I love with everyone. And, you know, this is, I've been doing this a year, but it's still, it's still a strut for me. I still have so many things to, I still have so many things that, um, I don't know yet, things that I want to learn, um, things that, you know, are going to be new to me. And, I'm so excited that you guys are going to be here with me every single step of the way. And again, I welcome you to the Boners community, Pichin. And, yep. Alright guys, before I end up saying any more and end up crying. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Remember to stay dehydrated and drink your milk. Because milk's good for your bones, alright? Okay, good night everybody. Have a good rest and have a good grind tomorrow. It's the Mondays. And I hope the schedule tomorrow will help you guys get through with the Mondays blue. Monday blues? Monday blues. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Have a good rest. Bye-bye.